I think um, existing approaches to uh, AI, artificial general intelligence, um, are all, um, uh, they all are, are philosophically flawed, and I think that's why they haven't succeeded for decades, uh, because they, um, they are, a, a philosophical advance is needed. Um, and they are trying to get the answer without making any philosophical advance. And that leads them essentially to sort of behaviorist um, models of what um, we, we, I, I, we, and behaviorist models are, are non-explanatory models. They, they are models that just try to relate output to input without explaining why the output comes from the input and so on. And I think that that approach can't succeed, and it's the reason that uh, this quest for AI has has not got anywhere during the last decades. Um, what we need is first philosophical progress in understanding how creativity, I think that's the key thing that, that relates all these um, Un, 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 unsolved problems about free will, uh, consciousness, and and uh, so on. How creativity uh, is implemented, mm -hmm. and it has to be implemented. We know a few things. It has to be, uh, uh, in the broadest sense, a an evolutionary process. It has to work by variation and selection, or as Popper calls it in the case of science. Uh, conjecture and refutation, or conjecture and criticism. Um, but we need to know the details, and the devil will be in the details. My guess is that once we understand what it is, uh, we will be able to program it. Uh, I, I think there's, a, there's an analogy here with, with um, Darwin's theory of evolution, that Darwin, Darwin's great contribution, in my view, is not his scientific theory of evolution. It is the philosophical progress that he made in inventing a new mode of explanation. Just not, not just a new explanation, but a new mode. Previously, everyone who had addressed the question, why are animals the way they are? Why, 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 are, they, why are there adaptations there? Everyone who, who uh, um, people try to address this by supernatural explanations and also by scientific explanations, but all of them took for granted that what you had to do is find a reason why there are elephants, why elephants have long trunks, that kind of thing. And Darwin realized that that is a bad way of approaching the problem. To understand why elephants have long trunks, you must not ask why they have them as your uh, initial question. You must ask what kind of process could give rise to trunks. And then, that they have purposes, and some biological features have purposes, some have anti-purposes, like the peacock's tail, and so on, that all comes out in the sophisticated elaboration of the basic theory of how it could possibly happen by variation and selection, by, by random variation, that is, undirected variation and then directed selection. Now, um, free will, consciousness, and so on, definitely involves that as well, but it involves something else that we don't yet understand, which it will take a new Darwin to realize, and once the new Darwin has realized it, it will be, well, it took many decades between Darwin and DNA. I think it will be much faster. It will be in between the, the person who discovers the correct philosophy of um, AI and the programming of AI will be a matter of months, not decades.